this was originally a PC game, which means I've never played it. So when I heard this game was coming to the Wii U, well, obviously I was pretty excited. It's not often I get to see what all the cool kids are talking about. It's on Epic for the Nintendo Wii U. So if you've ever played Castlevania, you probably like Castlevania. That's, that's one of only two possible outcomes from playing Castlevania. The other involves buying a loincloth and then fashioning a whip. Anyway, the point is, this game's a lot like that game. It does the classic Metroidvania thing, but with a little more story and a lot more RPG. We begin in some dude's house where he and his buddies are playing a board game. Anyway, you go to take a piss, the lights go out in the bathroom, and boom, you end up in a creepy dungeon, and within two minutes you're possessed by an evil spirit. Tough break, kid. Fortunately, there's a sword nearby, and some magic potions. And also, you have experience with this kind of stuff. If I get hurt and I get back here, I'll be renewed. Just like resting in an inn in Dragon Warrior. So, long story short, you have to kill the enemies and win the game. Along the way, there are upgrades, magic spells, and nerdy references. And backtracking. Wouldn't be Metroidvania without backtracking. Deal with it. You'll be doing a lot of it. Even though the game does give you some shortcuts, this place is freaking massive, so... I hope you, hope you brought your sonic boots! Hey, an oil lamp. Or something like that. I'd better light it, too. Hope that Belmont doesn't show up and start putting them out with his whip. But actually, I'm, I'm fine with the backtracking and exploring, that's part of the game. But there's one thing about Unepic I wasn't crazy about, and that's that it's a little complicated. There's a lot of stuff the game doesn't really tell you how to do. Not what to do, but how to do it. That's the thing, Unepic kind of assumes you know what's going on. So, uh, there's, there's definitely a bit of a learning curve. But fortunately, that's the only major complaint I have here. Unepic is just a blast to play. You can actually split it into two parts. You have action platforming, which is the backbone of the game. Lots of climbing and jumping and sword swinging. And then there's the RPG stuff. Unepic is rife with RPG stuff. As you play, you'll earn experience points. You could use those to upgrade your character in lots of interesting ways. Increase the strength of your sword attacks, improve the protection of your armor. I mean, if, if you like that whole RPG grind and you like old school action platforming, well, this is definitely a game for you. You, you could just spend hours playing Unepic and not even notice. One reason for that is the gamepad. The move to Wii U brings some nice new features to Unepic, and it's really all about the gamepad. So, for starters, there's off-screen play, and this is the perfect kind of game to just kick back, relax, and have right in your hands, you know? It's kind of like cuddling up with a book. It's just perfect for a game that sucks up time like this. But perhaps more importantly, there's the gamepad as a controller. So, instead of navigating a cumbersome menu to access a weapon, you can just assign a bunch of items right to the touchscreen. That way they're just a tap away, which is incredibly helpful. You know, Unepic isn't a game without its quirks. Some occasional cheapness, some strange difficulty spikes. I mean, there's definitely some frustration here. But I'm not sure how much of that is a problem, per se. This is an old-school game that embraces the old-school. The gameplay, the style, the music. And even the frustrations. But I don't know, I, I think there's something admirable about that. Something genuine. Yeah, it could be a lot to chew, but not many games taste more like Simon Belmont than this one. Alright, that came out wrong. It's on Epic for the Nintendo Wii U.